So this is an interesting matchup. Get your boy dog bringing in their main composition, basically, this god comp, the Shadow Priest Mage Druid. And then, of course, the boy's going to be locking in that Windwalker Death Knight. We've seen Smexen showcased on this Death Knight. In the past, you'd expect Smexen to play Warrior and Enhancement Shaman. Meantime, Chun Li actually getting bursted down, but I think he's going to be completely fine there. Nice little Vortex coming in from um, Flop. Keeps Chun Li in the midfield. He's still in a little bit of trouble. Good initial pressure here from uh, Get Your Boy Dog. Chun Li managing to scrape around the corner there and stay in the fight, but the pressure from Get Your Boy Dog is definitely high, and Gorecki is going to need to try and deny it a little bit longer. Iron Bark will restabilize the team. But you can see Gorecki actually running overgrowth, which is an incredibly expensive heal in this current build, and that is to counteract the kleptomania of the mage Grayson, but he cannot afford to use that on cooldown or else he will run out of mana. The pressure is still very high here. I'm wondering what build of mage Grayson is playing because this damage output is quite insane. Gorecki trying to dispel off the vampiric touches to stay ahead of the damage, jumping into the fight, but gets close line by the Psychic Horror. Smexen on low health even before dampening. Grecky gets locked in crowd control. It's a three-on-one. Anti-magic shield, though, soaking up a ton of these magical hits from Get Your Boy Dog despite this great crowd control chain. Smexen denies the kill. Yep, no doubt about it. Gorecki running the Relentless Talent, which means all crowd control on him will be less. And I don't mind this pick as Shadow Priest Mage has a lot of unavoidable crowd control. Eventually, you will get caught into a Psychic Horror um, and that CC is just inevitable with a silence partnered up with that. So I think Gorecki just wants to reduce all CC throughout the game, and I think he'll get a lot of value out of that during this game. Flop a little bit behind on mana at this point in the game, as Get Your Boy Dog has been playing super hyper aggressive, trying to take down Smexen and Chun Li. But with the boys stabilized, now they're getting some solid pressure onto Grayson. They were initially on CMG, but I feel like Grayson was just punishing them too much, getting the free cast of Polymorphs onto Gorecki was just too much for them to handle. Yeah, Ooh. now they're still trying to keep it going, but Grayson's damage is really high this match. I don't think we've seen this much pressure on a Death Knight throughout any region, but CMG as well taking huge damage from the team of the boys. Those Maledicts flying in and soaking up tons of heals. Dispersion, Iron Bark, Overlap, Flop, falling behind on Mana. The boys now take the lead. Yeah, and Chun Li right now has his touch of death. We're gonna see if he can activate that, that red icon under his name. And there it is, touch of death is going to be activated. Do they have anything for flop though? Maybe a paralyzed and uh, not gonna be able to find it. CMG though, gonna be trinketing out there and using his fade and, uh, and his void elf actually. Very nice there, uh, comboing those two abilities. Uh, his trinket removing away those snare effects. And then of course, the void elf is gonna give him a little bit more of distance as we see flop and Grayson go in for a CC combo. Combo onto Gorecki. Chun Li is going to be porting out of there for safety. And then Smexin, of course, is going to be soaking up that damage with those death strikes and that anti magic shell. All right, at this point in midfield, you would normally expect the team of Get Your Boy Dog to be ahead, and maybe they are. Chun Li dips dangerously low, but he was able to get Touch of Karma rolling right before that incoming stun and deny the kill on himself. Quite a close call for the boys. Even though they've got a lead, they've still got to keep their eyes open and their wits about them moving deeper into dampening. Now, Dark Simulacron was able to steal a Polymorph, and now Flop is sitting through that. Grayson needs to be careful to not give those Polymorphs to Smexen as it could extend the crowd control chain for a kill. Now Flop has to trade his Glyre's Medallion to get out and restate stabilize the team activating that innervate getting a bunch of expensive heals for free great innervate usage here by flop but grace or sorry gorecki still has a gigantic lead in that margin yep and you can tell that's the amount of damage coming in from smexen and chun Li in this match so far has been quite taxing for flop as gorecki sits down for a drink they have to stop it i think gorecki would actually managed to stop or regenerate a lot of his mana there. Nicely done. Pounce stun going to be used onto CMG as well. Gorecki really been using this Feral Affinity quite a bit to assist his team with a little bit of extra crowd control. When he goes for drinks, he's going into cat form, into stealth anyways. Then he can move in, get a stun once again on Grayson. And I'm really impressed with Gorecki in this matchup. He has been doing such an excellent job. Re-stealthing, stunning CMG, re-stealthing, stunning Grayson, pushing in, getting bashes, controlling up the game for his team, also keeping Chun-Li and Smexen alive.
and it allows them to play a little bit more aggressive in this matchup. Oh, Greki getting caught by a polymorph there. A bit of a mistake, an error finally on the part of the boys. Smexen though denies the kill with this anti-magic zone, this purple barrier of protection, perfect against the spell casters that CMG and Grayson are playing in game number one. Gorecki still with a gigantic lead as we edge closer to dampening. Touch of death activated. Chun-Li looking for a kill. Maledix flying in from Gorecki to try and soak up some heals during this gigantic burst moment as get your boy panic. They overlap their entire defensive arsenal to deny that kill and now they are ripe for the pickings moving later into the match. Match. CMG getting interrupted. Still pressure on Chun Li as well as a Maledict flies towards him, absorbing a lot of heals. Greki gets stunned, but CMG is against the wall. Void shift over to Flop, but he's also very low on health. Basically, no mana. Chun Li trades Touch of Karma constantly back and forth between these two titans in the upper bracket. Yes. Chun Li is doing such a great job. Every single time before he gets stunned, he activates that Touch of Karma. He's playing that relentless talent, so it's very risky if he doesn't do that preemptively. He could potentially go down. We see Flop activating that iron bark now he's gonna look for that drink chun li again is on top of things uh, stopping him with that paralyze and now you can see chun li's not gonna go and try to stop flop anymore instead he's gonna try to reverse that pressure onto cmg force flop to stay in the fight and heal because he doesn't have that iron bark this could be a potential void shift coming out then yeah it definitely could be he's actually already used it he doesn't have it available he's getting low cmg with nothing left do they have the damage to take him down Flop with nothing left in the tank. Really, some decent damage, but good control from Grayson. Gorecki stuns him up. Can't help him anymore. Mind control gets used onto Smexen, denying the kill, but Flop still with no mana left to totally top off CMG. He's gonna have to look for a drink. Wait for that Iron Bark and Innervate. Oh. CMG still getting bursted down. Flop manages to trade out the Iron Bark and now looking for a drink, actually just pushing in, looking for a stun on Chun Li, just trying to avoid as much damage as possible. They bought CMG enough time. He still has a dispersion. Grayson uses Icy Veins, wants to get some counter pressure rolling here onto Smexen and Chun Li. We'll have to see if he's able to do it. They need more dampening to get a kill, I think. Maybe not. Chun Li, two seconds away. Smexen saves the day with that anti magic zone, reducing all of the damage once again for his team. CMG an open target if Chun Li can just stay out in the battle long enough. But Gorecki's in crowd control. They touch a karma, they go for an all in kill. Can Flop keep CMG alive through this next attack by both Chun Li and Smexen? Vampiric Embrace is definitely supporting the team, well timed by CMG, but even that may not be enough if Chun Li and Smexen can stay on target. Gorecki's Maledict flying in, able to be dispelled, but now the second. Continuing to soak the heals. Flop doing basically <laughs> as well as he can with no mana left in the tank. He's at least managed to stabilize CMG at high health. Flop jumping towards Gorecki, trying to maybe crowd control him up, but not finding it just yet. Now the bash, Ring of Frost gets death gripped. Good denial here. Now though, they get the Cyclone. Flop and Grayson working effectively as a team. I'd like to see a Hibernate potentially casted here at the same time to catch Gorecki, but really not finding it. And even though they've paused Gorecki's healing for a few moments, they didn't create any pressure off the back of it. And they are slowly but surely marching to victory on the side of the boys. Smexen activating that Apocalypse. He is ready to get a kill. Yeah, CMG getting lower, and I don't think there's any way he can survive this. Flop gets the Iron Bark off, but I don't think it's enough reduction. And CMG ultimately goes down from start to finish. The boys just in the driver's seat of this match. Eventually Flop running out of mana. And it's just we see Gorecki combo the Feral Affinity, Go for the restealth, stun up a target, get a few combo points, and every now and then he's gonna jump in, get a big juicy bite. It usually works very well against comps that don't have immediate burst damage. So something like a Shadow Priest Mage, they have a lot of long crowd control chains, not gonna be able to just one-shot Goreki when he goes in like that. Instead, they wanna control him, as we see them do right now. Flop going for that bash into Cyclone, and presumably Sean Lee's gonna be in a little bit of trouble. He's gonna activate his Fortifying Brew, and instead, uh, the get your boy dogs are gonna go after Smexin and force out that anti-magic shell. Yeah, they managed to pull out a few defensive cooldowns, but really nothing too major. CMG could be in some trouble now. His touch of death is activated by Chun Li, looking to burst them down. Flop denies with the iron bark in this matchup so far. Vampiric Embrace also used by CMG. And the way Vampiric Embrace works is basically if he has damage rolling when Vampiric Embrace is active, all of that damage will provide a little bit of healing to him. So as long as he has his dots up on multiple targets, Vampiric Embrace can help assist Flop keep CMG alive or CMG can keep himself alive. Flop now looking for a bash cyclone onto Gorecki. Gorecki finds the pounce stun onto Flop. And now CMG falling a little bit behind. This could be the dispersion. Flop had to trink it out, but with no Iron Bark, I don't know if there's enough healing to actually save him. 
TMG potentially could kite away with that Void Elf ratio, but not going to be using it just yet. Looking to keep himself alive. Gorecki in a healthy spot with lots of mana, potentially looking for a re-stealth here. Can get back into cat form and then move in for a potential stun on CMG. I think that Feral Affinity for Gorecki is going to be pivotal in this series to two. Enough damage to take down the team of Get Your Boy Dog as Gorecki sneaks in for an attack. Immediately getting up a couple of damage over time effects, then retreating back to the pillar so he doesn't expose himself to crowd control and damage. Gorecki definitely a tier one uh, Feral Affinity Cat Weaver. He's been showcasing that throughout the past week or so. No other Druid has really tried to contend with him in terms of that Feral Affinity prowess, and it's definitely a treat to watch. Yeah, and I definitely think when we see him using that Feral Affinity, it is a big factor in why he has so much of a winning affinity as well. As we can see, Chun-Li is going to get caught up in that Cyclone. After we already mentioned the fact that it is going to be so expensive for Flop to actually cast these out, his mana is being taxed at the moment, but he still does go for these setups. Vemruki, why does he go time and time again for Cyclones, even when he's behind in the Mana War? Well, I feel like Flop needs to get crowd control on Gorecki if they actually want to close out the game. He has to push in. He has to look for Cyclones on Gorecki. Help Grayson just a little bit. Set him up with some bashes. If Grayson's casting Polymorph, Flop can cast Hibernate, and that's an opportunity for them to get CC. But essentially, their best defense is a solid offense, and they need to force Chun-Li and Smexin behind the pillar. If they can't do that, the amount of damage that Chun-Li and Smexin can put out, Flop's going to be going out of mana quicker anyways, so you might as well try to you know, force your opponents a little bit defensive, and that might give Flop an opportunity. So spending a little bit more mana might be something he needs to do. CMG still getting low of Impure Embrace available. He might have to use it as he does get low. Gorecki charging across the map. Void Chef gets used on Grayson. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the Temporal Shield, so he's still going to remain low for a little bit longer. And Flop's going to actually have to cast some heals to keep Grayson totally alive. Now a bash potential cyclone on Gorecki manages to find it, but oh CMG is still the one that's low. So much pressure coming in from the boys in this matchup. Smexin and Chun-Li really doing an impressive job making sure CMG is having to play defensive and not really able to get too much momentum and, rolling. And what do they even have to invest? They, they already grabbed the shift. They grabbed the vamp embrace. They also get the, they get every single cooldown there. Yep, CMG is basically a sitting duck here in game two on his best map. They are not looking strong here against the boys. The boys have complete control of this fight moving forward. Flop needs to do something quick if he wants to look to set up a drink to the late game. They picked a great map to do it. Will he find the opportunity is now the question. Gorecki is just l quite literally sneaking around in stealth, opening up onto players, and he's having a field day, really, against Get Your Boy Dog. Grayson trying to build up some damage here, dropping that frozen orb and dishing out a couple of massive ice lances, but Chun-Li just anticipates that damage and activates Fortifying Brew re right before he even gets hit denying any sort of kill window for get your boy dog what is going on with grayson's build in this game he's playing ice form but do you see he's got the water elemental right next to him which means that he's not playing uh, the lonely winter which means he's playing a build essentially that wants to do big deep shatters big frost bolts but he's not playing 25 percent extra damage on that frost bolt and i think that's Maxine and chun lee they are going after grayson a little bit here but i think ultimately cmg is the better target this was kind of the build we were talking about in the in the european matches uh, earlier uh, no, sorry, in the previous match with Metal Orange, but we didn't see it being uh, pl played out, and now we see it kind of uh, being played out, but only half of that build. It's very, very strange indeed. Oh. As CMG is getting very, very bursted, might have to activate that dispersion, and he will. Oh. Those Maledicts are coming in, and that's overlapped with the Iron Bark. Now, if Chun Li or he can stop the flop from drinking, if Chun Li is on top of things right now, chasing him behind that pillar, he actually gets polymorphed up. Ch flop could actually be getting a drink here. Yeah, could be going straight to full mana, and I think that's actually what's going to be going on. Nope, I lied. Gorecki goes in stealth and manages to shut that down. Nice mind control coming in from CNG, and it is interesting that Grayson's kind of halfway going towards that build for Frostbolt. Potentially, maybe he just wants the extra Nova from his pet to keep Smexin and Chun-Li in places. That's really the only control he'll have over this game, over these two melee, but I could definitely see him going for a little bit of extra damage, potentially a little bit of extra pressure. Uh, but opting not to make that trade in this game. I think pressure is an important thing to think of because we see free reign from Chun-Li and Smex and they haven't even had to use cooldowns half the time when they're pulling away these big defensives time and time again. It's just a matter of time until they send CMG straight to the Shadow Realm. 
Well, you lose the icy veins as well for uh, just the ice form. I don't think it's really a worth trade to make. You can see he's playing Ice Nova as well, which means that he doesn't have access to that bone chilling extra 10% uh, or so damage for his Frost Bolt. Uh, his build just isn't synergizing with itself. Uh, I would have much rather just see him play the standard build. Um, instead he's gonna go for this uh, he's gonna have a little bit of extra punch every now uh, every one minute on his frost bolt but i don't think it's gonna be enough to really make a big difference whereas if you had the lonely winter you would have 25 percent extra damage on your frost bolt and your flurry and as i say that we see Ooh. a full pull move of the flop cmg is looking big big trouble and after yet again activate that dispersion yeah still a lot of trouble not out of it yet flop completely out of mana is going to have to activate the iron bark to keep him alive manages to find it but just Yikes. so much damage Damage from Smexon and Chun Li. This series is not looking good for Get Your Boy Dog on this map. This is basically their only hope. The look unbeatable here in the upper bracket as they're one win away from advancing to the grand finals for the North American region. Let's see what Baby Cakes can get done. Yeah, I think it's going to be difficult. Baby Cakes definitely has a difficult uh, job ahead of him. Grayson's going to have limited damage in this matchup. Flop and Grayson, I think, are going to have to play hyper-aggressive here. They need to find crowd control on to Goreki. Good burst set up here onto Chun-Li. He preemptively dropped a Ring of Peace, which is beautifully done. Chun-Li with these preemptive plays, doing an excellent job, keeping himself alive. Now on to Grayson with good pressure. Asphyxiate stun on to Flop. He uses the Iron Bark to oh. avoid the Ice Block, but it's not enough. Grayson has to use that ice box so early on in this game. Great pressure from Chun-Li and Smexon. Grayson in chat also just asked, he said, guys, what do I do? What's going on? If you guys have helped lead him to victory, we'll be very impressed. But right now, it's already looking grim, Zico. Yeah, it's, uh, we see another setup here. Uh, this time around, Baby Kick's activating his Touch of Death onto Chun Li. Could potentially be the Touch of Karma. No, he's going to activate that Fortifying Brew instead, reducing that damage. And now he is going to summon his uh, images as they counter pressure. Might be even getting another Ice Block here. But Flop, he has a lot of work to do. He is out of crowd control. Chun Li, though, what is he able to do? Not enough damage, apparently, as we see Flop actually getting caught up in that polymorph. Once again, Smexin with that Dark Simulacrum, stealing those crowd controls at key moments and uh, swinging the uh, momentum back for his team. Yep, Flop with the Innervate gets some free healing here to keep Grayson alive, who has one Ice Block left until Cold Snap comes back up in another five minutes. Chun-Li has huge burst potential here in 45 seconds with this touch of death. Smexon still has that threat of the Dark Simulacron as well. Flop looking for a bash on Goreki. That's a full ring of frost. Oh. But Grayson is the one that's in trouble Oopsie. and actually just goes down without ice block. Believe me, I know the feeling, but the boys, too much damage to both sides. I actually like Get Your Boy Dog's composition. I think this is going to be fun. Yeah. We got ourselves a pirate, ladies and gentlemen, in Baby Cakes, and he's gonna be paired up with Grayson on that Fire Mage. Uh, we're gonna, okay, so that is a greater Pyroblast Fire Mage as well. Presumably gonna be running that Kleptomania to go with that as well. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see here. Grayson is gonna be able to dish out tons and tons of damage here. Very low amount of ranged interrupts, actually, on what Method Orange is running here. Only really Trill that has that uh, short cooldown kick. As we see, a greater Pyro actually land Cedar getting bashed up into a cyclone from flop beautiful follow-up there Grayson's gonna get shut down though nicely done by Sam I am yeah but Cedar with an excellent read dropped his iron bark on trill before the stun before the smoke bomb dropped and that completely shut down that kill attempt Grayson did use his combustion there and I think for the fire mage when you have combustion with tricks of the trade from the uh, outlaw rogue that baby cakes is playing it's a tremendous amount of damage but unfortunately they just weren't able to find it so far Grayson is just getting destroyed on all of these greater pyro blasts but the thing is eventually one could potentially land and now trill having to trinket out and drop his darkness as cd was caught in some crowd control all right we normally see baby cakes on windwalker monk but i guess get your boy dog are desperate in the meantime method orge are gunning down for a kill on the healer flop and we saw Cubsy not be able to handle the pressure that Method Orange brought in this composition. So I'm curious to see if Flop can stay alive or if his team will rot with Grayson down at half health and Baby Cakes as well. It's becoming increasingly more oh. difficult, but at the same time, Sidu gets caught in crowd control, forced to trade his trinket to get out. But Grayson is still falling behind as both teams come out swinging in game number one. So yep. I, 
Actually, CD was sitting through that blind right there uh, because of the fact that Outlaw Rogues, they have a talent called Blinding Powder, which reduces the cooldown of your blind. So your trinket is a two minute cooldown. And you can see here, the blind is actually a two minute baseline getting reduced by 30 seconds. So it's not a one for one trade anymore. And sometimes CD is gonna be forced to just sit through that. And then we're gonna see the Trill having to use his darkness and his defensives to survive that storm. And it's gonna be very, very tricky as the game keeps going on for that. For these two guys to actually uh, survive those blind attempts. Yep, and I think for Grayson in this matchup, it's difficult. One of the reasons why Samayam, I believe, is on the Boomkin is he can't be controlled quite as easily as some of the other classes, as in Moonkin, he is immune to Polymorph. Flop's mana is not doing well, that is for sure. So Method Orange, once again, with this composition, they will secure the late game advantage as Trill is a Demon Hunter, and he has the Mana Rift, which has been burning healer's mana all day long. But another big setup here for Get Your Boy Dog. Can Trill survive? No Darkness, no Trinket, full sap on Sidu. Trill's all alone, they actually might be able to take him down. He has to run behind the pillar. Gladiator Safeguard does proc, catches some heals and manages to stay alive. That was a nice attempt from Get Your Boy Dog. Completely not out of the woods yet, but I think Trill is ultimately going to survive. Flop needs to start looking for some mana. Yeah. Uh, is he, did he get away? No, he hasn't gotten away. His mana is still critically low. Baby Cake's now trading defensive cooldowns as well to try and stay aggressive in the fight, but that that's opportunity just a second ago was really the only moment for Get Your Boy Dog to get a kill, and now at this point, it's Method Orange's game. Yeah, and those are the really big setups there. And when you play the Outlaw Fire Mage as well, you want to set up a crowd control chain. I want to see a Polymorph on the trail or a stun on the trail and some type of crowd control onto Samayam as Flop goes for that uh, drink attempt. And that's going to be very, very key to set up. And you have to play around the trinkets as well. All of those Gladiator medallions are available on the side of Method Orange. So right now, for at least the next minute or two, they should be fine. As we see a Smoke Bomb dropped onto Samayam, he's going to respect that with just the Iron Bark, not going to be able to pull out the Gladiator's Medallion. Sidu getting caught up in that bash, overlapped with the Cyclone. Now, the reason for that is because a Trill actually reversed Magic into it, so nicely done there by Flop, reading that he is going to be using that. Samayam, though, is going to be hanging out in bear form for a few more seconds, and then he should be good to go, and then we're going to probably see a Blind coming in onto Sidu very, very soon. Yeah, and one thing for Trill, he's actually not running the Reverse Magic, so he kind of won a mind game here. Like you said, Flop tried to overlap uh, the Polymorph with the Cyclone, so Trill couldn't reverse, but he doesn't even have it available as an option anyways in this game. <laughs> and I'm losing my voice and need some water. All right, I got you, dude. Yeah, I'm the same I am of Rich, this team. Sorry, sorry about that, everybody. One water boy to the right side of the desk, carrying everybody here today. We do see a swap to see do is get your boy dog. Try to surprise Method Orange. Will he be able to make it out alive? And it does appear to be the case. Sidu stays in it. He's got a significant mana lead, but get your boy dog have huge damage potential moving forward. Let's see what they can get done. Another um, greater power blast being backed up here by Grayson. He's gonna land it onto Trill. You see Trill also getting caught up in that pistol stun. Two greater power blasts, and we can see a lot of damage coming out of Grayson. But he seems to be taking the brunt of it as Samayam is getting out some of, some of those cyclones and a lot of those star surges as well. Samayam also gonna be giving Seedu that innovate, which is another benefit of having that Munkin on your roster. You get two of those innovates. Yep, definitely. And I'm back and hydrated, so hopefully my voice holds up. Grayson taking some burst damage midfield. Still looking for the greater power blast. Cauterize does Brock. Who's he trying to get this on? Doesn't want to fall without ice blocking. Manages to find it. Flop, I'm not sure how much mana he has left. Not too much. Baby Cake's getting low as well. Sam I am really finding a lot of pressure here in this matchup. Full stun on Trill. Grayson gets bashed up. Nicely done by Sam I am. That kept Trill alive. That greater power blast could have been really scary. Once again, Grayson looking for the greater power blast damage. But as the game moves forward, Tr uh, Grayson can't afford to just sit in the midfield looking for these casts over and over. Eventually, the damage will be too taxing. Cedu getting swapped to a little bit here. Cedu's mana is not doing too well either as Flop looks for a drink far away. Trill manages to reconnect and shut that down. Now Sam I am, he needs to find pressure on Grayson, on Baby Cakes, keep dots on Flop. Iron Bark's gonna be connected on Flop to himself. And now Grayson and Baby Cakes are super vulnerable. And this is another blind attempt here coming in. is gonna try to sit that one through. Sam I am's gonna respond with the Iron Bark as well. And as long as Flop doesn't actually get to go and drink with this setup, uh, it should be looking like Method Orange are gonna cruise through this game one. I mean, right now they might just be able to get a kill. Tons of damage. Flop is locked down in crowd control. Grayson trying to deter Trill away with that Dragon's Breath. Baby Cakes backs him up with a stun, but even 
still that's an inevitability here for Grayson to fall he tries to set up the miracle pyro but gets denied on it once again flop still with nothing left in the tank in terms of mana we're now at 11 percent dampening and this is critical point for Grayson he's got uh -oh. nothing but they go for the miracle one shot on Sidu do they have enough damage to pull it off despite being so far behind I don't think that they do Grayson gets cycloned up he is unable to continue the attack baby cakes is trying to solo Sidu is baby cakes actually gonna be able to do it I don't know it's definitely possible at this point Sidu has no mana left no darkness Grayson getting low cyclone on the flop Grayson has to survive a little bit longer blazing barrier keeping him alive but flop really nothing left in the tank to keep him alive Trill pushing forward Sam I am looking for the damage Grayson does manage to stay afloat with the polymorph spam on Trill I don't know how get your boy dog is still in this I don't really see many opportunities for them in the game and eventually they will fall to this double druid demon hunter setup coming in from method orange and we read our best of five the gates are now open all right everybody this is an elimination match method orange the reigning champions from last year looking to defend their title here in 2019 arena world championship series flop jumps into the fight but actually gets clotheslined by trill immediately gladiators medallions and retreats away from that initial attack and that's a vulnerability that method orange of course will look to take advantage of moving forward anti-magic zone here trades quite effectively from mez for the icy veins of grayson but trill doesn't even seem to care he's completely disrespecting the damage that get your boy dog could potentially do in this position as Sidu continues to be crowd controlled trill ultimately stays alive but a good attempt by get your boy dog yet yeah, trill blade dancing circles around baby cakes in order to to survive didn't even you trade out his blur in that situation still has trinket and darkness as well and i expect that is how method orange is going to try to deal with these all-in attempts with the blinding powder blinds on the sea dude it's going to be anti-magic zone then it's going to be darkness and that's how they're going to ultimately survive trill still getting a little bit low here pressure is low for method orange for the time being, Flop playing hyper aggressive, and I don't mind that from Get Your Boy Dog. Him going, or Flop going out of mana is inevitability at this point in the game. Already down to 40%. You can tell when Rester Druid plays this aggressive, he burns through his mana quite quickly. So it's going to be up to CD Mazda Trail to make sure he can't go away for a drink. Flop actually using Shadow Melt, but Trill immediately chasing him. And Baby Cake's actually buying some time with a beautiful gouge. Nicely done. Flop resetting a ton of his mana. These are the plays we need to see from Get Your Boy Dog. Yeah, they're trying to battle it out and stay in this series, but Method Orange have crafted a composition that is quite durable and likely requires some dampening to be able to finally take down. Flop jumps into the fight. Grayson tries to follow it up, but Flop is actually able to keep the chain going single-handedly. We see Mana Rift used onto Grayson just for extra added damage by Trill, not ultimately turning into anything really of significance. Flop, although, is down to 50% mana at this point. It's only looking better and better for Method Orange. They haven't had to make any significant defensive trade against Get Your Boy Dog here in game number two, and it's looking more and more so like it's going to be a rematch between the boys and Method Orange. Ooh. Triple crowd control, good initiation by Get Your Boy Dog, but now they need the damage to back it up. They've held two members in crowd control, but all they're going to get is blur for their efforts. They need far more than that. Mm -hmm. They tried to keep the chain going slightly longer, but it's not enough. Opting now to cycle uh -oh. and trill at low health. Can they switch anything on to Sidu? I don't think they have the diminishing returns to exchange. Flop is trying to go for a Cyclone, gets denied by Trill. Trill is t likely to restabilize here shortly as Sidu has come out of crowd control. Maybe this burst damage is enough in dampening. I mean, there's been a few close calls here. Uh, once again, a good setup by Get Your Boy Dog, and they're slowly but surely creating openings. Yet yeah, Trill having to use the anti-magic zone in order to survive. Flop going for a Cyclone here. Trill in a lot of trouble. He has the darkness. Sidu has to use Trinket and Spirit Link. Flop not doing well on mana. Trill, of course, his last line of defense is going to be that Trinket and the darkness in order to keep himself alive. Yeah, I really want to see uh, Get Your Boy Dog now. Set up another crowd control onto Sidu. As we see, Grayson might be forced into Ice Block. No, he has the Portal Shield. He has the Iron Rock. Should be fine for now. Uh, I want to see Get Your Boy Dog really uh, try to set up another crowd control onto Sidu. And I want to see Flop go for a drink when they get that CC. And now the Iron Rock is fading. Grayson's going to be forced into that Ice Block from that Metamorphosis. Now Baby Cake's going to look to set up another attack here. And Grayson is, he does have his Frozen Orb up in about 10 seconds. 
seconds here. You see the polymorph spam is about to happen here. He's trying to polymorph up Trill. Presumably, we can't see it just quite yet, though. No poly on the Cedar either. Can't really get it going just yet. They have the blind, though, and Cedar doesn't have a trinket. So that is also a potential opening if they want to set up. And there it is. Full blind onto Cedar. Big damage onto Trill. They're going to force out his trinket. Do they have the sap? Baby Kicks is looking for it. He lands the sap. Nice cheap shot onto Mez as well. And here, this was the moment really where I wanted to see Flop not go in and instead pull back to the other side when his team has pressure and try to get that drink. Now the win condition for Method Orange is clear. Stop Flop from drinking. Mez is going to make sure that that happens and then put out pressure onto Grayson before that Iron Brock comes back up. Can potentially force out yet another Ice Block. Yep, definitely a little bit scary here for Flop now, but he managed to sneak away and get a drink. Method Orange isn't stopping him. If Flop can get full mana here, it's going to be devastating. Trill still low, hopping across the map, trying to reconnect. Flop really didn't get much of a drink there, unfortunately. Sidu now into a polymorph. Trill all by himself. And Method Orange is very vulnerable. Trill with no trinket. If he gets caught into a stun, nice crowd control onto Sidu. Trill keeping himself alive with Blade Dance, trying to avoid some damage in Metamorphosis. Darkness still available, as well as Blur. Cyclone coming in from Flop, using the last little bit of his mana in order to keep his team in the fight. Extend the crowd control chain. And now Flop, he's looking for a drink, but Sidu in hot pursuit. Grayson getting lower with only one ice block left. Things are getting scary here for Get Your Boy Dog. Yeah, it most certainly is. I mean, Flop is totally tapped. Dapping kicks in, and Method Orange look to secure this to match points. This damage is absolutely devastating. Trill leads the charge with crowd control. Two members at critical low health. Cedar, though, in a miraculous swap by Get Your Boy Dog. Has a bit of a panic attack, but at least stays alive. And now Baby Cakes and Grayson are against the wall. Yeah, and they have a lot of pressure here to work with. You see another full blind on Cedu. If Grayson can stop Mez, Flop might be able to get a drink. No, Mez gets that definite K and shuts that down. Beautifully done by Mez. And now I don't think Flop is going to get another opportunity to drink here if Trill and Mez just goes all in onto Grayson. After that, Iron Bark is faded. He should be fine. Cedu can even trade out his trinket here if he wishes to. Doesn't look like they have enough damage, though, as Grayson is getting lower and lower. Temporal Shield is not going to be able to act uh -oh. it, maybe. Yeah, uh-oh, Grayson getting lower, can he survive? Tempor Shield gonna proc, not doing that much healing though. Mez trying to reconnect, Trill trying to close out the game, Flop trying to keep him alive, but Grayson I think will ultimately fall. He blinks away with the Ice Barrier, Cotton to Asphyxiate Sun, Trill still all over him at 10% dampening, CDU looking to close out the game with a Lava Burst, and Method Orange, they're just looking bulletproof. And, and also this was the composition that we knew to claim a victory once again, assert their dominance and show that they are the champs. Let's see what Get Your Boy Dog can get done. Grayson, once again, he's going for the greater Power Blast build, and we'll, we'll have to see what happens. I really feel like this build, it relies on some mistakes. Baby Cakes on the Assassination Rogue is not going to have as much setup potential as the Outlaw Rogue did have, and Get Your Boy Dog, they had difficulty getting setups with the Outlaw Rogue, and I think with the Assassination Rogue, it's going to be even more difficult. All right, Baby Cakes trying to go after Sam I am, but this is what I thought. Sam I would just duck around the corner with Sea-Doo, and if Baby Cakes overextends, they'll go after him. Now, instead, going after Trill, whoever's left in midfield to try and allow Grayson to set up for some damage. But you can already see that three members of Get Your Boy Dog are dipping dangerously low. This Temporal Shield, it's a race against the clock. Maledix might soak up the incoming healing. Grayson in trouble with that huge Temporal Shield. Was able to completely bounce back into the fight. Quite a scary moment for Grayson on match point, but he manages to get away with it. Multiple greater pyroblasts incoming. One is going to connect here. We do see Baby Cakes going after Sidu. It's desperate. It's dire. Can they do it? They're against everything in all odds. They dip Sidu so low in one hit. They both get Astral Shift and the Darkness. Potential for Get Your Boy Dog in this series to stay alive. Yeah, that took a lot of cooldown. So it was a vendetta from Baby Cakes and the combustion from Grayson. So. I think Sidu should be able to hold on, but a full KD shot. Sidu didn't top himself off. Still a lot of incoming damage. Grayson really not finding the pressure that he needs. And now that Sam I am is there, he's able to spam out the Cyclones. Baby Cake's playing relentless if he ever gets caught in a Cyclone. There's no way he can get out of it. Same with Grayson. That's one of the reasons I don't necessarily love the Relentless Talon against a Moonkin, but here's a decent setup. On to Sam I am. One greater Power Blast lands with the Meteor, but the Bear Form 
is going to be good damage reduction, especially with that bark skin. Yeah, and uh, Sam, I am, uh, sorry, Trill is actually playing the reverse magic this game as well. Uh, actually manages to weather that storm with that. Sam, I am also getting cloned up on low HP. Not going to do too much, though. Has that greater power blast, gets interrupted. Sam, I am has his uh, renewal as well to work with here. So as long as they keep their uh, target... Uh, Grayson interrupted on those greater power blasts. This one, I hope he gets cloned up as well. Beautifully done there by Samayam. They don't have any interrupts, so he clones him on that cast. A cyclone is a shorter cast than greater power blast. Now Trill is going to have his interrupt as well. He's going to rotate through those. We see a big swap though into Sidu. Uh, actually, onto Samayam. Full sheep on Sidu. Greater power blast being channeled out. He's going to get interrupted though. I think Samayam. Uh, did he get interrupted? I don't think he did. Yeah, I think he just canceled it. He canceled it at 90% of the way through the cast, so I'm not exactly sure what happened there but definitely a missed opportunity for Grayson now looking for another greater power blast but in the meantime Trill has just been burning flop over and over with the mana rifts and look at flops mana he doesn't really have anything left and Trill's going to continuously chase him down method orange this is their win condition they're going to be feeling quite happy to just keep the pressure up but a big swap here on to Sidu Vendetta is available combustion as well they're trying to pull something from Sidu and basically a fake swap in that kidney shot but Sidu's not falling for it and I think he's going to be completely fine yeah and at this point Basically, all the defensive cooldowns for Method Orange are rotated back up and available. Flop has zero mana. He faces elimination along with his team. Get your boy, Doc. Method Orange, they want that rematch. They want this opportunity at redemption from a lackluster performance in cup number one. Cup number two, they have a chance to go all the way and claim first place. It looks confident for them to take the rest of this series as Flop is now completely tapped on mana. The only way they would lose this is if they completely ignore him, which is is maybe sort of what's actually happening right now. Nope, there's a star fall. Sam I am is not going to allow Flop any opportunity to crawl back into this game. He actually gets a nice cyclone there on his trinket. Grayson's gonna activate the temporal shield, trying to uh, survive for a little bit longer for, for Flop to come out of there. He has his iron bark to work with. They still have the ice block as well, but that's about it. They really gotta make this next push count. And as I said, that there's the combustion. The Cedar getting caught up in that cyclone. Nice trinket there from Sam. I am gonna respect the aggression. There is a darkness as well, uh, but Right now, Samayam is returning the pressure with that uh, incarnation. Grayson might have to actually use his ice block here shortly. Yeah, definitely a very scary moment for Grayson as he's caught at low HP in the Cyclone. Kidney shot now on Samayam. Baby Cake's trying to keep him alive. There's an Iron Bark from Flop, but he just has no mana to work with. Sidu sitting at 100% mana in this matchup. Yeah. Method Orange looking completely fine, completely healthy. Grayson manages to hold on a little bit longer, looking for a greater power blast. Gets interrupted once again by Trill. Flop once again, trying to make an escape to get some mana. Grayson not able to find the greater pyroblast, and things are just looking better and better for Method Orange. I think Sidu should start spending this mana on purges. I think it's obvious at this point he doesn't need mana to heal through this team. Uh, yeah. Huge hit here towards flop. Sam I am, and Flop is not able to get any mana off the back of what I thought was going to be a full drink. Now, Baby Cake's in trouble as Method Orange go and target him. Evasion trades, but that may not even be enough. Grayson's trying to pull some miracles out here. Multiple greater pyro blasts ends up breaking the chain. Baby Cakes is still low on health, but Sidu's locked down in crowd control. This could be it, the one-hit wonder. Does Grayson have enough damage to push Sam I Am whoa, over whoa. the edge with Barkskin available and bashing up that cast? Sam I Am keeps himself in the fight. Flop, not able to get any mana yet again. Sidu just making that impossible for him as he tries to cross across the desert of Tolveron to sit down in the oasis and regenerate mana. Trill in hot pursuit to deny that vengeful retreat in the line of sight. How much mana did you get, Flop? Come on. It's better than nothing. Yeah, definitely better than nothing. Being completely home is not ideal in this matchup. Grayson's still looking for the greater pyroblast. And get your boy dog, they're not giving this victory to Method Orange easily. They're definitely making them work for it. And there are moments of opportunity with Combustion and Vendetta available. There's a lot of damage for get your boy dog, potentially, that they can pull on Method Orange. Yeah, most certainly here as Dampening engages. Grayson at low health tries to go for the kill. Huge Meteor connects. Maledic soaking up Sidu's healing. Can they keep the chain going? They do. They secure. No, they break the Polymorph. 
Why did Baby Cakes break the polymorph? He was so close. He wanted to follow up with the Garok, but they miscommunicated there. Grayson had another polymorph coming, and they overlapped that. Had they actually done that a little bit cleaner, that could potentially have been the game. But Flop is sitting now for a drink. If Grayson actually can shut down Trill here with the double blink, does he manage to get the poly? Doesn't look like he does. Trill is going to be able to shut down that drink. See, dude's going to trink it out of that blind. And Flop did get a little bit of mana left. They could potentially survive for one more attack. They don't have too much to work with here, though. Baby Cake's gonna have his evasion coming up shortly. Grayson still has some of his defensive flop. He's actually gonna get a drink here. Nice polymorphs there on Gray uh, on to Trill. Not gonna be an, in time, though, to actually stop that drink. You can see Flop going for the bash into the Cyclone. Nice cross you see there on to Trill as well as he lands another mana burn, forcing out that bark skin from Sam I Am. I, I, you know, you, you have to bring up the fact that a little bit earlier, Super Tease is saying, maybe Cedar just starts spamming Purge at this point. It looked like Method Orange completely had Get Your Boy Dog where they wanted him. And slowly, a few mistakes come in. Flop's been able to grab some mana, and some real pressure has been coming out. We are going to see Grayson slow down while he's in the poly, but Sam's still in the kidney. Yep, definitely. Sam being shut down by this assassination. Oh! Flop getting deleted in the midfield. And that is what we know from Sam I Am. It's like a repeat of BlizzCon. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.